Hello everyone, this is Elspeth from the Planeswalker Pantheon bringing you today an MTG Arena opening of the newest set, Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. I've got 64 packs here today between the pre-order and playing some free events that were given to me because of the pre-order. So uh, let's just jump right into it, shall we? So solid footing. This card has actually been surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was in draft. Green and white, I've noticed, has a bit of a vigilance theme. And this card's probably key for it in the deck. Dranth Stinger. Ferocious Tiger Gorilla. This is actually a pretty cool card, actually. I love this artwork. Heightened Reflexes. Footfall Crater. Back for more. And our rare is Cub Warden. Okay, so Cub Warden is uh, three, in a, three in a white for a three five uh, creature cat with lifelink, but it has the newest newest keyword mutate. So you can pay two and two white for this, put it either on top or underneath a non-human creature, and you can get the ability and or its stats, depending on which way you decide to mutate it. I actually kind of wonder if this might start up a cat deck, the Pioneer. It'd be interesting to try it. Anyways, let's go for the next one. Gust of Wind, Ca Cavern, Cavern Whisperer, Spell Eat of Wolverine, versus Tigerzilla, Blazing Volley, Skull Prophet. I've seen this get some uh, experimentation for standard thanks to Star City Games. Fighters 1, this actually seems like a pretty good little combat trick. Actually, I enjoy this, uh, this whole setup. And our rare is the Savari Triome. So this is the rare land cycle for, for this set. Uh, they are lands which have the three base, like three of um, the basic land types, which means they can be fetched if you're playing f fetch lands. And they add either one of any color. You can cycle them three, and they enter the battlefield tap. Nice. Next one. Thieving Otter. I love this artwork. He's so cute. He's such a cutie. Solid Footing. Tentative Connection. Pacifism. <laughs> Go for Blood. Majestic Oricon. Flourishing Fox. And our rare is Obosh, the Prey Piercer. So for three and two Rakdos Hybrid, you get a legendary creature, Hellion Horror. About time those two creature types were put into a single card. Um, it's a 3-5. If a source you control with an odd converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent player, it deals double that damage to that permanent player instead. It has the another new mechanic called Companion. So if you build your whole deck around a particular restriction, uh, you can basically play this cup card from the sideboard. S and I believe you can only have one in your sideboard, I believe. I have to double check that ruling. Um, but for this creature to be your companion, you your starting deck must only contain have cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. This is a cool one. I like this artwork as well. Next. Flycatcher Giraffid. Pyroceratops. Boot Nipper. Tentative Connection. Plummet. I think I'm going to have some fun with saying some of these creature names. Proud Wild Bonder. Bastion of Remembrance and our rare is Brokos, Apex of Forever. So for two, a black, a bl green, and a blue, you get a legendary creature, Nightmare Beast Elemental. That's a bit of a mouthful. It's a 6-6 six, six with Trample. You can mutate it for two, a Demir Hybrid, and two green. And you may cast Brokos, Apex of Forever from your graveyard using its mutate ability. Neat. Light of Hope, Thieving Otter, Moscow Goriak, Durable Coilbug, Boon of the Wish Giver, and our rare is Re Reveal the Everwise. This is another card I've seen actually see a bit of uh, experimentation in Pioneer to bring back Izzard Phoenix. So for a 1, a blue, and a red, you get a legendary creature, Human Wizard. Riel the Everwise gets plus one plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each, each turn, you draw that many cards. So say Cathartic Union, 
you know, you pitch two, you draw two, and you draw even more off the uh, effect. You draw five effectively. Ooh, that's spicy. Next up. Suffocating Fumes, Tigerilla, Bushmeat Poacher, Keep Safe, Startling Development, Die Tactics. I think this card in standard would be excellent. It's a white and a black, even for an instant. You can exile Tiger Creature. If you don't control him, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. And our rare is Yorian the Sky Nomad. So, for three, a white and, a bl and two white blue hybrid, you get a legendary creature, Bird Serpent. Why right, they couldn't just call it a dragon, I don't know. But hey, this is Arcoria, the land of multiple cat, uh, creature types. It's a 4-5 with, with flying. It has companion, and its companion restriction is your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the, the middle of de minimum deck size. So this would, could be interesting with things like Battle of Wits. So when Yorian enters the battlefield, exile any number of other any number of other non-land permits you own and, con and control. Uh, the differentiation between own and control is very important. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So owning and controlling are two very different things. Own are the cards that you start with. Control are the thing, other things that you've taken and it's yours. This game could work pretty well with Tharsa, actually, in, in standard as well. That's something I just thought about. And it's a 4-5 with play. Neat. I actually kind of like Companion. I know there's been some controversy about companion between commander and canadian highlander and like, there's just a weird tension but i'm interested in it as a mechanic i think light of hope ram through honey mammoth essence scatter with this new su sweet sub mckinnon artwork coordinated charge boon of the wish giver wingspan mentor and our rare is Lutri the cutest <laughs> the cutest little order to be banned in multiple formats even before the set's release. So it's uh, one and two is it hybrid, you know legendary creature elemental otter. It's a three two with flash. Its companion cost is each non land card in your starting deck has a different name, so you can see where the problem is for with is with commander and other sort of singleton formats. Uh, when Lutri, the spell chaser, enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy, target, instant, or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. The the thing that Commander had a problem with is, is the fact that its companion cost basically made all blue-red decks, regardless of what it is, have 101 cards. And that's just something they couldn't, couldn't deal with, couldn't, didn't want in their form, which is fair. And also the fact that in some of those format sideboards don't exist is another secondary issue. Got Booth Nipper, Cathartic Reunion is back, which is a nice card to see back. Thieving Otter, Suffocating Fumes, I think this is going to be an all-star in Pauper. Mysterious Egg, Wingspan Mentor, Sanctuary Smasher, and our rare is another Broco, so I won't read that over because that was a mouthful of text, so we've got two Brocos. Gust of Wind, Corpse Churn, Gloom Pangolin, Flycatcher fly fly Giraffe, I said it right the first time, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Zenith Flare, and our rare is Lurus of the Dream Den. Now, personally, for modern, I want to experiment. I want to see if there's a Soul Sisters deck that can use Lurus in a, you know, and just take advantage of Lurus. So, Lurus is. Uh, three mana, so one and two ores of hybrid for a legendary creature, Cat Nightmare. It's a three-two with lifelink. Its companion restriction is each permanent card in your starting deck has converted mana cost two or less. During each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. I really want to see if there's a Soul Sisters variant that can just take advantage of Lurus. Next pack. Dark Bargain, Lava Serpent, Blitz Leech, Essence Symbiote, Almighty Brushwag, they've brought back the Brushwags, just like they did the Cephalids in uh, in Dominaria. Flame Spill, this is actually a very good card, I think. 
And our rare is Slither Wisp. So for a blue and two black eater creature elemental nightmare, it's a three tooth flash. Whenever you cast another spell that has flash, you draw a card and each opponent loses one life. This is really nice. I think there might be a, a Demir flash deck somewhere in, on the horizon in modern. All right, so thwart the enemy, tentative connection, keep safe, pyroceratops, savory thundermane, porky parrot, and unpredictable cyclone is our rare. So for three and two red, you get an enchantment. Uh, cycling's a new mechanic that was that was brought in with Icoria. Uh, it says if a cycling ability of another non-land card would would cause you to draw a card instead exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card you may cast that card without paying its mana cost then put the exiled cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order and you can cycle it for two this could be a standard playable who knows because like you could cycle the early ones that come through and then play play the next one who knows this is going to be interesting format, I think. Prickly Marmoset. Ferocious Tigerilla. Patagia Tiger. Essence Symbiote. Checkpoint Officer. Ivy Elemental. Momentum Rumbler. And our rare is the Oozalith. So for a single mana, you get a legendary artifact. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Oozalith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, the if the Uzalith has counters on it, you may move all counters from the Uzalith onto target creature. Now, in Ikoria, you can change your monsters, not just by mutate, but also by ability counters. So, uh, you can get counters like First Strike, Double Strike, you know, First Strike, Trample, Lifelink, Vigilance, Menace. Just every evergreen keyword has a, uh, an ability, ability token. If those creatures die, you just bang them onto the Uzalith and wait until you can uh, craft one giant monster. Alright, next pack. Main Several, Crustacean, Perimeter Sergeant, Ferocious Tigerilla, Spell Eater Wolverine, which is something I might want to put into my Is It Spells Pauper deck, which I've been playing around with. Savory crystal. So now, so all of the uh, wedges have also three mana artifacts you can cycle away as well. Weaponize the monsters, and our rare is another slither wisp. Heightened reflexes, Aegis turtle, Helsier glider, bushmeat poacher, keep safe, wingspan span mentor, onimus seas. Huh, cool. That just stays on there. That's really interesting. And our rare is Frondland Felidar. When one of my drafts, I got absolutely wrecked by this card. So for two, a green and a white, you get a creature cat beast. It's a 3-5 with vigilance. Creatures you control with vigilance have one and tap, tap target creature. So what you do is you swing with the vigilance. And then before declare blockers, you can tap them. And you can get those tap triggers. Which is really neat. That just overpowered me in a bunch of games. Greater Sandworm, Facet Reader, Fertilid, Unlikely Aid, Al Alcapelagor, Petra Crystal, and our rare is Labyrinth Raptor. So for a black and a red eater creature, Nightmare Dinosaur with Menace, it's a 2 2. Whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. For a black and a red, creatures you control with menace get plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. Me. So we've got a plummet, ferocious tigerilla, tentative connection, blade banish. The wanderer is just randomly on this set in the, on this plane because the wanderer can never control how or where they planes walk. Their identity is still unknown, so we still have no idea who this Wanderer is. Checkpoint Officer. Fighters 1, and our rare is Eerie Ultimatum. So they've actually completed the cycle, the 10 card cycle of the ultimatums that were started originally in, I want to say Con. No, Alara Re Alara Block? 
So this is the Abzan ultimatum. So for two white, three black, and two green, you get a sorcery. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's going to be insane in Commander, I think. Im imposing Vantasaur. Bushmeat Poacher. Blazing Volley. Heightened Reflexes. Serrated Scorpion. Ivy Elemental. Charge of the Forever Beast. And our rare is a Mythic Rare Wild Card. Always need more of those. Serrated Scorpion. Forbidden Friendship, Phase Dolphin, Christ Crustacean, Light of Hope, Sanctuary Smacker. Now, Keen Sight Mentor. So in this set, there is a there is a cycle of five mentors. Each of them care about a particular keyword. So in this case, the white one cares about vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you put a vigilance counter on target non-human creature you control, and for one a white and tap it, you put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with vigilance. I think the green one cares about trample. The red one cares about Menace. Black one cares about Death Touch. I don't know what the blue one cares about. I think it would be flying, I'm assuming. Anyway, it's such a really cool cycle, I think, of cards for this set. And our rare is Inspired Ultimatum. So this is the Jeskai Ultimatum. I'm going to call them by their Khan's block names because these new names are a little bit harder to pronounce. So for two blue, three red, and two white, you get a sorcery. Target player gains five life. Inspired Ultimatum deals five damage to any target, then you draw five cards. So this is kind of like Cruel Ultimatum a little bit, but a little bit less. Instead of doing seven to every. No, I'm mixing up my Ultimatums in my head, but this is very similar to an older Ultimatum, I think. Capture Sphere, Snare Tactician, Tentative Connection, Garrison Cat. Look how fluffy he is. Frill Scare Mentor. Ah, this is the red one, so I just care about, men about Menace, like I said earlier. Onimus Seas. And our rare is actually a Mythic. It's Fiend Artisan. This is actually a cool card. So, so for two Golgari Hybrid, you get a Creature Nightmare. Fiend Artisan gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard, and for X and, and a Golgari Hybrid and tap it, sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less, put it onto the battlefield, and then shovel your library. Activate this ability only at any time you could cast a sorcery. Which is kind of neat. Plummet, Facet Reader, Patagia Tiger, Almighty Brushwag, Spell Wheat Eater Wolverine, Ragoon Crystal, Rooting Moloch, and our rare is Garuda, Doom of Depths. So for two and two Demir Hybrid, you get a legendary creature, Demon Kraken, cool creature types. It's a 6 6. Its companion restriction is your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs. When it enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into their, gr into their graveyard. Put a creature with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Farfinder, Blade Banish, Garrison Cat, Humble Naturalist, Day Squad Marshal, Momentum Rumbler, Sanctuary Smasher, and our rare is Extinction Event. So for three and a black hero sorcery, choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converter mana cost of the chosen value, and zero is even. Main Serveral, Mysterious Egg, Heightened Reflexes, Blood Curdle, Spell Eater Wolverine, Keen Sight Mentor, and our rare is Quartzwood Crasher. So for two, two red and a green, you get a creature dinosaur beast. It's a 6-6 six, six with trample. Whenever one or more of your creatures, one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur uh, beast creature token with trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. That's kind of cool. Huh. Hampering Snare, Evolving Wild is back, Wilt, Day Squad Marshal, Neutralize, Mystic Subduel, and our rare 
is Sky Cat Sovereign. So for a white and a blue, you get a creature elemental cat. It's a 1-1. One, one. It has flying. Sky Cat Sovereign gets plus 1, plus 1 for each other creature you control with flying. For two, a white and a blue, create a 1-1 one, one white, white cat bird creature token with flying. This token is so cute. Look at the baby. Blood Curdle. Go for blood. Halcyon Glider. Sun Spinneret. Ran through. Unbreakable Bond. Reptilian Reflection. And our rare is another Cardboard Warden. Fully Grown Garrison Cat. Divine Arrow. Sleeper Dart. Catria Crystal, Boon of the Wish Giver, and our rare, Rare Wild Card. Suffocating Fumes, Honey Mammoth, Frostlings with brand new artwork, Plummet, Spring Jaw Trap, Reptilian Reflection, Poliwog Symbiote, and our rare, Unpredictable Cyclone. Greater Sandworm, Gust of Wind, Raking Claws, Adventurous Impulses Back, Durable Coil Bug, Zenith Flare, Escape Protocol, and our rare is Song of Creation. Apparently this has gotten a lot of uh, brewers very excited about this particular card. So for one, a green and a blue and a red, you get an enchantment. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. Alright, next one. Durable Coil Bug. Solid Pudding. Mutual Destruction. Evolving Wilds. Adaptive Shimmera. Fighters 1. And our rare. Shark Typhoon. So they basically made Sharknado into a card. So for 5 and a blue you get an enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. You can also cycle it for X or 1 and a blue. When you cycle Shark Typhoon, you create an X blue shark creature token with flying. So have it on the field, you create as many as you want. Kind of similar in feel to Metallurgic Summonings. Um, or you can just cycle away, similar to how you could cycle things like... Um, the, the old decree cycle basically and you get a smaller version of that effect alright next up Crystalline Ball Garrison Cat Mysterious Egg Volpakeet Cloud Piercer Zenith Flare Frill Scare Mentor and our rare is a Quartzwood Crasher Humble Naturalist, Convolute, Snare Tactician, Survivor's Bond, Lead the Stampede is back. It's actually been a, a hot minute since Lead the Stampede was in a standard set, I believe. Ragger and Crystal, and our rare is Colossification. So for 5 2 green, you get Enchantment Aura, Enchant Creature. When it enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus 20, plus 20. I want to see some mad person in the best way possible. Combine this with Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah, because when you're attacking with Dreadhorde Arcanist, classification, the tap effect does not matter. At all. Think on that one for a little bit, guys. Farfinder, Survivor's Bond, Essence Symbiote, Solid Footing, Wilt, General's Enforcer. Mystic Subduel and our rare Shark Typhoon. Volpakeet, Capture Sphere, Almighty Brushwag, Blue Bell, Hellseer Glider, Wingspan Mentor. Ah, the blue one gives it flying. I completely missed that when I opened it previously. Will of the All Hunter. And our rare is Mythos of Vardok. So this is another cycle. Um, in the set where all the um, apexes get their own mythos, their own story, 
which has these really cool cave painting arts by Seb McKinnon. So the red mythos, the mythos of Vardok, is two and two red for a sorcery. It deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. That's the base, if you just cast a two and two red. But if white and blue was spent to cast a spell, until your next turn those permits can't attack or block and their activated abilities can't be activated. Spring Draw Trap, Garrison Cat, Blade Banish, Main Serveral, Plummet, Horn Bash Mentor, the green one gives it Trample just as I thought, Easy Prey, which could be a standard all-star, and our rare is a mythic, it's Narset of the Ancient Way. So for one, a blue, a red, and a white, a you get a legendary planeswalker Narset, starts at four loyalty. For plus one, you gain two life, add blue, red, or white. This mana can only be used to cast a non creature spell. Minus two, you draw a card, then you may discard a card. When you discard a non land card this way, Narset of the Ancient Way deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to target creature or planeswalker. And for minus six, you get an emblem. Uh, with whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. Adventurous Impulse, Convolute, Essence Symbiote, Adaptive Shimmera, Garrison Cat, Auspicious Starix, and our rare is Savory Triome, which is the Mardu Triome. Adventurous Impulse. Bushmate Poacher, Savory Sabretooth, Lurking Deadeye, Easy Prey, Void Beckoner, and our rare is Emergent Ultimatum, so this is the Soul Type Ultimatum. So for two black, three green, and two blue, search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana cost, exile, Emergent Ultimatum, so that way you don't get to just free roll this ultimatum over and over again which is absolutely fair because if you could that'd be insane all right next one honey mammoth wingfold pterodon terran tentative connection dark bargain forbidden friendship keen sight mentor mystic subduel and our rare is a lunar apex of wishes so this is the tina apex so for two, a green, a blue, and a red, you get a legendary creature, beast, elemental, dinosaur. It's a 6-6 six, six of fly and trample. And you can mutate it for three, a gruel, hybrid, and two blue. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent card. Put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. Neat. Next one. Prickly Marmoset. Fire Catcher Giraffid, Perimeter Sergeant, Wilt, Suffocating Fumes, Call of the Death Dweller, Cunning Night Bonder, this is I think the other thing for the uh, Demir Flash deck that I think could be a thing. And our rare is Voracious Great Shark. So for three and two blue you get a creature shark, it's a 5 4 flash. When Voracious Great Shark enters the battlefield, can I target artifact or creature spell? Mosscoat Goriak, Wilt, Gloom Pangolin, Mutual Destruction, Day Squad Marshal, Flourishing Fox, Sanctuary Lockdown, and our rare is Raguan Tyrone. So this is the Jeskai Tyrone, basically. Corpse Churn, Whisper Squad, Honey Mammoth, Wingfold Pterodon. Zagoth Mumba, Frill Scare Mentor, and our rare is now the Ragu and Tyrone. Tyrone. Frenzied, Frenzied Raptor, Main Serval, Dark Bargain, Excavation Mole, Serrated Scorpion, Glowstone Recluse, and our rare is another Brokus. We've nearly got a playset of him. Taker Tiger, Dranith Stinger, Spell Eater Wolverine, Divine Arrow, Fighters One, Unbreakable Bond, and our rare is Ketra Times, is the uh, Tima one. Now 
Memory Leak, Frenzied Raptor, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Scatter, Easy Prey, Jubilant Skybonder, and our rare, Voracious Great Shark. Back for more, Avian Oddity, Dark Bargain, Bristling Bore, Forbidden Friendship, Spring Jewel Trap, and our rare is Snapdax Apex of the Hunts. This is the Mardi Way Apex. So for one, a red, a white, and a black, it's a legendary creature, Dinosaur Cat Nightmare. It's a 3-5 with double strike. And for two, a Rakdos Hybrid and two white. Whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to target creature or Planeswalker or Planeswalker and opponent controls, and you gain four life. So who loves a Flame Tongue Carver? Night Squad Commando, Vertilid, Wilt, Migratory Great Horn, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Generals Enforcer, and our rare is Garuda, Dim of Depths. Almighty Brushwag, Solid Footing, Serrated Scorpion, Unexpected Fangs, Blade Banish, Pouncing Shore Shark, Call of the Death Dweller and our rare, Real the Otherwise. Spontaneous Flight, Moss Coat Goryak, Boot Nipper, Ferocious Tigerzilla, Tigerilla, Dranath Healer, Swallow Hole. I think this is actually going to be very good as well. And our rare. Ruinous Ultimatum, so this is the Mardu Ultimatum, so for 2 red, 3 white, and 3 black, you get a sorcery, destroy all non-land permanents, your opponent's control. It leaves your stuff perfectly intact. Forbidden Friendship, Checkpoint Officer, Fertilid, P Far Finder, Plummet, Necro Panther, Parcel Beast, I think this is very good actually. It's just it's so low on the curve that mutate. And our rare is a Sea Dasher Octopus. So for one and two blue, get a creature octopus with flash. You can mutate it for one and a blue. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. I had the fun time of in draft putting this onto the um onto the otter and just drawing two cards a hit it was really cool. Blazing volley, facet reader, carrot. Cavern Whisperer, Cloud Piercer, Dreamtail Heron, Archipelago, so Sonorous Hail Bonder, and our rare is a Mythic Rare Wildcard. I wish we could kind of convert some wildcards into the ones we want, that's just me talking about mine. Ferocious Tigerilla, Dranath Stinger, Hampering Snare, Phase Dolphin, General's Enforcer, Sonorous Hailbonder, and our rare is Lurus of the Dream Den. Excavation Mole, Tentative Connection, Cloud Piercer, Blitz Leech, Farfinder, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Chittering Harvester, and our rare is Zagoth Triome. Forbidden Friendship, Night Squad Commando, Spontaneous Flight, Memory Leak, Cry Station, Ospirus Starix, Ivy Elemental, and a rare. It's Gem Raider, so three in a green, you go creature beast, it's a four, four with reach and trample. You can mutate it for one and two green, and whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. And it's a four, four, so it has good memories of Boon Seder from Pharaoh Standard. Blitz Leech, Facet Reader, Prickly Marmoset, Bushmeat Poacher, Convolute, Fighters 1, and our rare, Slither Wisp. Imposing Vantasaur, Forbidden Friendship, Corpse Churn, Rumbling Rockside, which I think is actually pretty good removal for this set. It deals at minimum 4 damage. Archipelago, Auspicious Starix, and our rare. It's extinction event.
Boot Nipper, Thieving Otter, Bushmeat Poacher, Imposing Vantasaur, Solid Footing, Archipelago, Indratha Crystal, Indratha Crystal, and our rare is General Kudro of Dranath. So for one, a white and a black, a legendary creature, human soldier. It's a 3-3. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. So he's a lord, as as it would as you would expect. Whenever General Kudro of, Dr of Dranath or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile a target card from an opponent's graveyard. For two and sacrifice two humans, destroy a target creature with power four or greater. It's really neat, actually. And the fact that his daughter is actually in one of the commander decks is pretty cool. For what the enemy? Light of Hope, Spontaneous Flight, Spell Eater Wolverine, Facet Reader, Boneyard Lurker, Savory Thundermane, and our rare is Slither Wisp. We've got a play set, I think. Spell Eater Wolverine, Frenzied Raptor, Unlikely Aid, Forbidden Friendship, Springjaw Trap, Footfall Crater, Parcel Beast, and our rare is Jengartha the Wellspring. So for four and a Golgari hybrid, you get a legendary creature, Elemental Elk. Um, its companion restriction is no card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana cost. And you can tap to add the full Woodberg. This mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. Glimmerbell, Snare Tactician, Unlikely Aid, Saddling Development, Sanctuary Smasher, Polywog Symbiote, and our rare is a rare wild card. Crystation, Gust of Wind, Heightened Reflexes, Spell Eater Wolverine, Humble Naturalist, Will of the All Hunter, and our rare is Jengartha the Wellspring. Forbidden Friendship, Essence Scatter, Aegis Turtle, Pantagia Tiger, Unbreakable Bond, Easy Prey, and our rare is Indartha Triome. Of One Mind, Blazing Volley, Humble Naturalist, Dreamtail Heron, Light of Hope, Hornbash Mentor, and our rare is Crystalline Giant. So for three mana again, Artifact Bridge Giant. At the beginning of, your, of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from among flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance, and plus one, plus one. Put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. Those are all of the uh, ability tokens that are available to set, by the way. Pyroceratops, Farfinder, Aegis Turtle, Whisper Squad, Go for Blood, Swallow Hole, Porky Parrot, and our rare is Wintona, the Joiner of Forces. So for two, a red and a white, you get a legendary creature, Human Warrior. It's a 4 4. Whenever a non human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. This is really neat, I think. I just think it's neat. Blood Curdle, Adventurous Impulse, Dark Bargain, Ferocious Tigerzilla, Grim Dancer, Rooting Moloch, and our rare is Labyrinth Raptor. Bristling Boar, Thwart the Enemy, Ferocious Tigerilla, Blister, Split, Blister Spit Gremlin, Lead the Stampede, Hunt Master Liger, and our rare, Shark Typhoon. Here's our last pack, you guys. Heightened Reflexes, Facet Reader, Blazing Volley, Thieving Otter, French Raptor, Primal Empathy, and our rare is Song of Creation. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, I will be recording uh, paper openings whenever that does come up. Me being in Australia, it means I get it. I core a paper product at least next month. I believe it's early May, I think on the 14th or 15th. So get ready for paper openings then. Anyway, guys, this has been uh, Elspeth of the Planeswalker Pantheon signing out.